And this pissed me off because this is. See all those? That's season 7. Of course, what pissed me off is that uh, basically what happened was um, when I got these about a month later, all these. Oh shit. All those were basically in a pack just, just like this one. <laughs> but that's me being a dumbass. Fucking lies, gate. No, fucking Nickelodeon for stopping it because you have three more seasons. You stop the shit. Same Silverman. I like it because of Steve Zahn and Jack Black. Black Sheep, Major Pain, Silent Night, Daily Night, Along Came Polly. Do you know the way? I had fun. Oh, and the Chipmunks, kind of cute. Contact, this is a Jurassic Park adventure pack with all three films. Videodrome. Which I know there's a new special edition, but that was cheap. Godzilla, I gotta say. Tower Inferno, which is a pretty good flick. Uh, fuck it. Tower Inferno is good for Hard Candy, good flick. Session 9, Repo Man, Three Men and a Baby, Nothing in Trouble. Nothing but trouble, shit. Weekend of Bernie's 1 and 2. I love Weekend Bernie's. Double Pet Alienation, Enemy Mine, Batters Not Included, Hellraiser 2, Hellraiser Special Edition, Wall Lee, Summer School, Fun Movie, Hammerdry Hill, one of my favorite of the Vietnam type movies, Popeye, Cable Guy, Steel Room 1 and 2 have their fun moments, the sequels, the other ones suck. Tears of the Sun, Mr. Nice Guy, um, Full House, there's such a force too, I got to Olivia Gruner is still a pretty bad movie. This is a nice guy's not a bad Jackie Chan movie. Falls, complete first season, I grew up with the show. I'm fine with just the first season. Nemesis, just a DVD arc, is the actual DVD is pretty hard to find. Bust and Loose, DC Cab, love DC Cab. 2001, Special Edition, Monster Squad Special Edition, Near Dark. Brutal Master is kind of a funny. You have, uh, I know Gunnar Hansen's in it, Ken Foray's in it, uh, Brian O'Halloran, the star of Clerks, is in it. It's kind of like This is Spinal Tap, but with uh, the guys making a horror movie. Stars David Naughton from American World from London. Condor, I had fun. Sue me, I had fun with Condor. Forrest Gump, Harley Davidson, Marble Man, Darkness Falls, Roadhouse. Sad to see that Patrick Swayze's gone. This is a special edition. With actually the Kevin Smith and Scott Mosier did a commentary and it's very funny. Pride Here Part 2, solid sequel. Duel, All About the Benjamins, Big Daddy, Drive, which I gotta thank the Reese 007 for helping me out with that. The Longest Yard. Ah, this is actually what. Yeah, I'll trust my last account, it's not about how I was doing Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo movies. Scooby Doo, well, those are Scooby Doo movies. This is Scooby Doo season 1, 2, and 3, which is not technically part 3. Uh, Scooby Doo and the Boo Brothers, The Licking Werewolf, Swordfish, which is alright. God damn, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Swordfish, yeah, Shakedown with Peter Well and Sam Elliott. Kesha 2, uh, it's not a great movie, but I was able to find. There's that song by uh, Kenny Lawrence, Nobody's Fool. I'm going all the way. Essential Ernest. I grew up with Ernest P. Worrell and Jim Varney. The Perfect Weapon. I got, I think, a good guy out there who helped me out with getting the hookup for The Perfect Weapon. I wish this would get an outro release. Fuck, I don't know how to handle this shit. This really needs Nick Lert, aka the Changeling. Got thank you for giving me the hookup on this. It's a DVD artist. I think they released a DVD overseas, maybe, but it's hard to find. But I wish they would release this on DVD, on official DVD. Love the perfect weapon. So much that I got. Actually, this piece of paper right here. 
That's a uh, street night. Uh, daily outbreak right here. As I know, it's a bad cover, but you forgot to wear your bulletproof cup. <laughs> this is a badass. It's a diehard ripoff, but this is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Other Jess Beaker movies: The Expert, Land of the Free, Running Red. This is a uh, Scorpio one. Firestone where Robert Carradine's on it but he's only in it for five minutes and it's a shitty movie. Memorial Day, that's a real shitty movie. Groundhog Day. Silent Trigger, which is not a bad Dolph Lundgren film. This is for my Dolphs now. The Dolph Command Performance is great. Army of One. This three pack here is of Direct Action, Retrograde, which is shitty, and Direct Contact. Mainly I got for Direct Action, and Direct Contact's not a bad movie. Showdown Little Tokyo, Men of War, Russian Specialist, Defender, Red Scorpion, The Punisher, which is great. Two Box Murders, not too bad, but not too great. Michael Clayton is a good drama. Commander, The Director's Cut. Eastern Condors with Samuel Hun. Uh, the Siege, that's what the one right there. Of course, The Triple Pack, which I reviewed on my old channel. <laughs> the Dark, The Bean, and... Creature from the Abyss. I gotta review this again sometime. Those are fucking. The dark is you have the zombie looking motherfucker who shoots lasers out of his eyes. Yeah. Shoot him up. Underrated. Street Kings, Trading Places, Roddy Piper, Story, Uncommon Valor. This is a badass movie. So underrated. Intruders, a great slasher film. The Fly 1 and 2 Special Editions, Chronicles of Reddit, a video game I have, Headhunter. Twister is a good movie, Sphere. Kind of weird little foot. Not weird, but interesting. There's The Dead Zone, that's the Season 2. I can't see, but that's The Howling 3, which is a weird one. Hard Boiled, Silence of the Lambs, Silent Rage, American Ninja 1, 2, and 3, 7. Wayne's World 1 and 2, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Larger Than Life. These I found for 5 bucks, Masters of 4, Pelts. I think Dario Argento did that one. Ice Cream, U Stream. Um, this is a Sunny Chiba, yeah, Street Fighter, Return of Street Fighter. Miracle Mile, strong, humongously underrated film. Love Miracle Mile. Um, Come on, asshole. Don't fall on me. But this is a strongly... I, I suggest this to anybody out there watching this. Anthony Edwards, Mayor Winningham. Uh, you have... I forgot. I forgot the rest of the cast, damn it. But... This is a solid flick. I mean, what if you get a phone call saying that someone's going to bomb L.A.? You know, do you believe them? Do you think they're bullshitting you? Great movie. Love that movie. Usual, is it? Uh, Oscar, Men in Black, Equilibrium, Dead Zone Season 1 and 3. This is all three, the complete series of Millennium, which is three seasons. One of my favorite TV shows because A for Lane Sanderson and B because it's a very dark show. In my opinion, it's darker than The X Files. One of the darkest TV shows in tone and stories. Um, then this is Quantum Leap, all five seasons. Sam Beckett. Stone Cold, that's a classic. It's the boss, for fuck's sake. Mercury Rising, The Pacifier. Ah, uh, fucking froze. Doom! You know what? I gotta be guilty of this. I like this movie. It's one of those movies that... Hell, folks. Every time I watch this, I like it more and more. Sue me. Yeah, it could be a lot better. I just think it could have been a lot worse, and I don't know, I just, for what it is, I just like it more and more each time I see it. It's a monster movie. 
Kiss of the Dragon, great Jet Li film. Surviving the Game, some John Carpenter films like Vampires and the Mouth of Madness. Michael Keaton Phantoms that he was ordered this. I hope he likes it. Ghost of Mars, They Live. And this is the Legion 2, like I said before, because it has the commentary with Roddy Piper and John Carpenter. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Karate Kid Special Edition with an awesome commentary with Pat Morita, Ralph Macchio, the director and the writer. Four Seasons, A Robot Chicken. Fun show. License to Drive. Corey Haim, may he rest in peace. Angel Heart. Child's Play. Chucky's 20th Birthday Edition. 